Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Parsley. I am an orthopedic surgeon, and I'd be happy to welcome you into my practice. Conservative management of problems of your hip or your knee is very important. We need to make sure that you are, have tried every different aspect of non-surgical management of your problem before the hard decision to have surgery is undertaken. This involves a lot of evaluation of you on what you've done so far and what you would like to do going forward. Number two, it also depends on what your expectations are and what you're trying to achieve. If you are at a more sedentary level, then medications and basic injections of your joint may be all that's needed in order to provide you the improvement in the quality of life that you need. Have you had a hip or a knee replacement before? If you've had a hip or a knee replacement before and now are having problems or pain associated with that, then it's very important that you see a specialist who understands the problems of a hip or a knee replacement that's still causing you pain. This is not every orthopedic surgeon, I can promise you. This is someone who actually specializes in these particular areas because understanding, diagnosing, evaluating these problems is very, very challenging at times. And you want to make sure that the diagnosis is as close to correct as possible. That's what I do. I specialize in evaluating patients who have had a hip or a knee replacement before and I try to solve the problem to alleviate your pain going forward. Sometimes this may be a relatively minor uh, procedure such as an injection or a change in your physical therapy. But other times it may involve more invasive type surgery such as an arthroscopy to eliminate some scar tissue to help realign the way your kneecap glides or to address a particular problem involving your hip. In more significant circumstances, it may involve loosening or failure of your device and therefore a redo or a revision of your artificial joint. And again, that's not something that's done easily and should be in the hands of someone who has experience in addressing these types of failed total joints. So I encourage you to, to do your homework and find someone who has that experience so that you're in good hands going forward and that the next operation is successful.